Okay, now I'm in my car. Start the engine. Oh, it says to wait 30 seconds for the system to turn on. Boot up. Okay, I got on the TV at the moment. And in 30 seconds I'm going to insert the SD card which has the files on it. And I'll talk you through that shortly. Pretty cool. The screen on this car is pretty nice. We've got TV and DVD on this car. I believe it's the NTG 5.0 system. Alright, it's been 30 seconds since I started the car, so now I'm going to put this SD card in a little slot here, as I tell you to. And it goes, click. Now it says it can take about 60 seconds for this to activate. On, there's multiple YouTube videos online which shows that uh, when it works it should say please remove SD card and then it'll restart the whole command system. Just some background, yeah I made the purchase online, paid 199 USD which at the moment is about 270 AUD. By submitting this video I hope to get the $50 USD rebate which will then bring down the total purchase price of this software to about 200 AUD. Um, when I made the purchase all you do is get the PayPal receipt. You don't really get any emails from the company itself. Uh, but then about it took about three or four hours later I got the email with the zip file attached. Importantly with the zip file I copied the folder across onto the SD card and that didn't seem to work but now I've just copied the files directly onto the SD card so there are no subfolders on the SD card. There we go, now it says please remove the SD card, which I'm going to do, so I'll click that again, pull that out, and now it says the system will now restart. Now it's important to hold on to this because this is how you turn this thing on and off, so I can redo that same system and that should um, put it back to its normal state if you need to get the gas serviced or if when it comes back from the service the thing's been disabled. Uh, online I read that with this purchase, you know, it's all rebooting, it says AMG again. Online it says that with this system there's 12 months of updates. I presume that's in case Mercedes also bring out a patch or something to make it not possible to do this. Alright, so now it's back on the TV there, I'm now going to put the car into drive. Put on the brake, undo the handbrake, and we're going to drive off, indicate. Obviously in Australia we drive on the left hand side. We're moving now, and the TV stays on. How awesome is that? Thanks very much for watching. Hope this helps.